Hello friends, how are you? I hope you are fine. Today I have brought a new story for you. Peppa plays cricket. So come, let's start the story. I am going to play cricket with Peppa. Peppa and George are in the garden. Suji Ship has come to play. Hello, says Suji Ship. Daddy Pig is looking after the children. He finds his son hat and turns on the radio. What a lovely day. I'll sit here so I can watch you, says Daddy Pig. Daddy, are you asleep? calls Papa. Uh, of course not. I was listening to the cricket. Splatters, Daddy Pig. It must be very boring. If it make you go to sleep, says Susie Ship. Daddy Pig shakes his head because he loves cricket. Daddy Pig fetches a bat, a ball, and some sticks. What are those for? asks Papa. I'm going to show you how to play, says Daddy Pig. Hooray! Peppa, George and Susie cheers. Daddy Pig pushes three big sticks into the ground, then rests two little sticks on top. This is the wicked, says Daddy Pig. Wick it laughs George hmm. Knocking the sticks over, Daddy Pig puts them back up again. The wicket is important in cricket. Daddy Pig gives the ball to Peppa. She is going to be the baller. Lift the ball up high, then run along the grass and let go. Says Daddy Pig. Wee! Oh, <laughs> laughs Papa. Papa runs so fast, she forgets to let go. Daddy Pig shows George how to swing the bag. Ball again, please, Papa. Says Daddy Pig. Papa lifts the ball up high. Run and let's go. George swings the bat and knocks over the wicket. Never mind, George. I'll help you swing the bat, says Daddy Pig. George keeps trying with Daddy Pig's help. Bob! He hits the ball. Catch it, Susie! Shouts Daddy Pig. Susie jumps up and catches the ball. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy Pig calls everyone inside. It is tea time. Cricketers always stop for tea and sandwiches and cake. Says. Daddy Pig. Key. Cheers, George. George loves cricket. Everyone loves cricket. So, friends, our story is finished. I hope you like to play cricket with Papa and George. Do you like cars? So, let's start. Papa, George, Daddy Pig, and Grandpa Pig are watching racing cars on television. It's such a lovely day. You should go outside and play. What shall we do? Asked Daddy Pig. Um, says George. George wants to play racing cars. Cries Peppa. Let's build a wall, says Grandpa Pig. 
He finds an old pram in his shed. Clever Grandpa Pig turns the pram into a pedal car. What's your favorite number, George? Asks Daddy Pig. <coughs> George replies. Daddy Pig paints a big two on the car's bonnet. Along come Danny Dog, Zoe Zebra and Petro Pony. Look at George's racing car, says Peppa. We'll race you three times around the garden, George. They cry. Go! Peppa shouts, waving a cheered flag. At the end of lap two, George is in the lead until one of his wheels come off. I am the chief mechanic. I can fix it, cries Peppa. George gets back in the race, but now he is lost. Granny Pig comes out to see what the noise is all about. Come on, George! She shouts. Mew! He sees pedaling as fast as he can. Go, go George, go! go. Snort, Papa, Daddy Pig, and Grandpa Pig. <coughs> George finally takes the lead and zooms across the finish line. George is the winner, declares Grandpa Pig. Well done, George. You are the best racing driver in the whole world, says Papa. George agrees. And you have got the best chief mechanic in the whole world too, adds Daddy Pig. Yes, that's me, says Peppa, pointing to herself proudly. <laughs> Everyone laughs. So friends, the story is finished. I hope that you liked it.